Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Aries. Um, I feel uh, I became curiosity killed the cat. Um, so I feel like there could be one or two things here. You um, have somebody that has been in your energy or is in your energy and then they are so curious about you. They can't help but to wonder. And curiosity always kills the cat. So they're like, it's like you, ins maybe you inspire them or they're curious to learn more about you or what you do or, you know, or that's you. You're the curious cat and you're just so curious and you're wondrous and you're wondering about something that you're just going to uh, learn about it. Be kind of called with it or something. I don't know. But we're going to get out some messages for the pre shuffle, three shuffles for Aries. Um, for some of you, it could have been, I just feel like this, this is, this is fresh, new. It's also communication and new perspective, but I feel like this is the inspiring energy, the, the, the newness, the, um, curiosity about you, um, that somebody has, okay? And it could be somebody that you decided to, um, retreat from. And I was hearing when I looked at this card that you you decided your decision. I was looking at these roses, and the, the it says roses are red. Well, it don't say that, but I I heard roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and I love you. So it could be this person that loves you, and sees you as a wish fulfillment. Somebody has a lot of love for you and sees you as a wish fulfillment. I don't know, you could love them too. But right now, um, you feel like. Either they need to work on their stability or you need to work on your stability. They possibly need to work on their stability. So I just feel like this person is dealing with a lot. Because they possibly didn't see this coming. It's a, it's a little shake up. And you could be dealing with this little shake up as well. Where, um, you know, you're balancing a lot in life. You know, a lot could be going on for you. Okay, and it's making you happy. But it's making you busy and it's, it's changing everything completely. Okay. Spread. I'm gonna start with some animal oracle cards.
This is going to have to freeze. Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle. Now, I did um, state that some of you could be the curious one, okay? And um, this thing that you're curious about could not be, you know, something easy to do. But um, you're so curious that you're going to figure out how to do it. So, I feel like you're going to be overcoming some obstacles, okay? Overcoming some trials. But we're going to read what that says to you. We always have the choice to press ahead. And Rhino Spirit's strength offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. This animal knows there is more than one way to open a path to what you seek. When Rhino Spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways. By ground, I mean, sorry, by going around them, shattering them with the force of clear, deliberate intentions, or even transferring them into clouds that drift away by refusing to allow them to limit you. Apply your rhino spirit with creativity, and no obstacle can stand, for you have magic to make in many ways in which you make it. Your power is awesome right now. Rhino spirit wants you uh, wants to remind you that when you <clears throat> When an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today, it means that something much better is coming. Keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacles in front of you now. Grace Spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you. So, um, so I feel like this is you also, the curiosity kid. Look, I feel like this is you curious. Curious as to finding ways to overcome things maybe in your life or around you at this time and you maybe couldn't go through it or you couldn't go under it so you probably are figuring out how to go around it now um <clears throat> i also feel like because of that you are um you see this little beaming it's a lot of light beaming off of this little this little rhino here but i feel like you are exhilarating a lot of light at this time and i feel like people are drawn in they're curious and curiosity kills the cat, so they want—they just want to know more, like how you do what you do, and you know, you just do it in your sleep, and they just—they're curious to know about it, okay? And I also feel that um, an obstacle that some of you could have been dealing with is um, the fact that you might be um, going separate ways with people, okay? And you're realizing that, okay, well. If this, if, if it happened like this, then it was meant to happen like this because that must mean that there's something out there better for me. Okay, so you're overcoming obstacles and disappointment in your life as well. Okay, and just learning to let things gradually be what they are, what they may. Okay, boom. So let's get ready to see. Let's see what messages do we have for Aries today. What messages do we have? Messages for Aries. I'm gonna talk a little louder because I hear my daughter in the background. So she gets a little loud and mute this video, pause this video, and tell her to quiet down. What do we have for Aries? First card we got out is the high priestess, which lets me know that you are following your intuition. And then we have the sun card, and it is leading you to very happy places, to a very happy place, to very happy destinations. What else we have for Aries? Or you are needing to let your intuition lead you because it knows how to get you where you seek. 
to be. We have the Aries. Six of Wands. Where you will be recognized, appreciated, and happy. Celebrated. The Lovers. The Five of Swords. The Lovers. The Five of Swords. What other messages do we have for Aries? I feel like you're either headed to or are in a such a place where you are either dealing with a deep connection or a decision. Um, and it brings conflict. The obstacle that I feel you will be overcoming in order to uh, sail into the future. Or put your plans, your future plans into motion. Eight of Swords. Might be a lot of mental activity going on. You might be feeling like you got the Five of Swords that conflicted. But I feel like ultimately um, you're overthinking it. And you're afraid possibly. Because you really do know what to do. You really do have the answer. And you really do just know because your intuition is here. Um, you got the Empress on the bottom. Which could be a brand new beginning. Um... And we got the five of pentacles under there, which is leaving something in the code or lack. Okay. So what do we have here? Why do we have the high priestess here? Four Aries. Why do you show us the high priestess here? For Aries. And high priestess right here for Aries. Why is the high priestess here for Aries? The high priestess here. Aries. Just a second. High priestess. Why is that here for Aries? I feel like you're following your wishes, hopes, and dreams right here. Um, and we already know you walked away from somebody, okay, in order to move forward. Okay, but you are looking like you're healing and you're putting the work into that. And, you know, you just maybe feeling like you either missed the opportunity or you're going to. Because you're putting the work into the healing or maybe you're just going to because you're more focused on healing healing a friendship or healing a workship why is the sun here Um. 
So in following your intuition, you're missing an opportunity um, because you're, you're healing a friendship or healing something to do with your work or something of that nature. Um, but then we have the sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck. Okay. It's like um, you put an end to something. Okay. But then all of a sudden, um, you want to equal give and take or something. Or you just all of a sudden decide. Or you rationally speak about wanting to equal give and take in your in your uh, in your communication is maybe a little harsh, but it's blunt and it's honest, okay? And it might revolve about wanting to be appreciated and um, rewarded and recognized in a connection, okay? Or or being passionate and wanting to be follow your passion, okay? And and then and and. Wanting reciprocity, and maybe this person just ain't it. Hell, I don't something like that. Okay, six of wands. Why is it here? Four Aries. Did I tell y'all the last card that was the devil? I don't know if I did or not. <clears throat> Got the queen of swords on the bottom with the emperor. This is... You standing in your truth and taking charge of your life. And right now, it, it this love thing with this person that ain't got their life on track or whatever the heck this is, um, that's just not it for you right now. You're trying to be rewarded. You're trying. You're headed in a direction. Okay, you got something to do and you got something to where to go and you can't afford to be. Um, you might have emotions, but you can't afford to be all expressing them in your feelings and wearing your emotions on your sleeve right now. And I feel like this nine of swords is, is stress from this person not understanding that. They don't understand that you are trying to um, work on something in your finances and you want to work on something stable and grounded. And you feel like that can't be if, what you know, what people, where y'all are in y'all life at this time or where they are in their life or something like that. Why is the lovers here for Aries? This person just don't get it. Somebody just don't get it. That's what I'm hearing. The lovers. That's a little thing for Aries. Are you dealing with a Capricorn again? Why is the love is here for Aries? Yeah, I feel like it's stressing you out because this person don't want to get it. They don't want to understand it. They don't want to see what you're saying. They only want to want what they want and it's not like you might not want them as well but it's just that people are being too to different places in their life okay and nobody's just gonna work some yes the connection's deep yes i care for you yes this is a deep really deep connection and i might even love you but i'm standing my ground okay because this is not um how i want things to go i'm not trying to be bound to situations or stuck or codependent or have nobody be codependent on me um, I'm not trying to be conquered by obstacles and, and letting fear or, or stuff cloud me in my judgment, in my decisions when I know I got obstacles to overcome, okay? Five of Swords, why is that here? I feel like you, um, this is some, con it's, it's a conflict thing for you too. You know, it's not like you just want to be done and just say, hey, it's over, but you know, Life has these things called priorities, you know. Um, so you're I just feel like this person might have showed you it with this five of swords, it could be some betrayal, or you know, I just feel like this person might have showed you 
um, had you thinking, reassessing, and you made a decision. You was looking back and thinking like, wow, okay, you guys, maybe they said communicated some things, mental. They said something that, that disappointed you, hurt your feelings. And, and, you know, you decided, okay, you know what, I'm just done with this. I'm walking away from conflict, okay? And now you're just thinking about, you know, being happy, being balanced, learning, gaining knowledge, and, and getting, you know, more evolved spiritually. Selling upon the future. Seeing what the future has to offer you because you don't have time, you know, or energy. You just, you're just trying to be positive and see the beauty in life, okay? Three of Wands, why is that here? I'm sorry, I'm going to start shuffling around it. Why is the Three of Wands here? For Aries. Oh, okay. You also could just want balance as well. Okay. Let me that other card. Hmm. You wanna and I feel like you wanna hold on to your resources. Okay. I don't know what this person's doing, if they even stable. What else we got on the third ones? be arguing with this person a lot or could have been and that's why you decide look some of you might just have to cut off communication and now you're realizing like this you this is a bullet you dodged <sighs> this person could be crazy the devil is out here twice we deal with a capricorn as well but the devil is out here twice that means this person could be controlling manipulative and toxic yeah, but see this cycle? Yeah, they did something. You ended it with somebody that you could could have possibly seen as a wish fulfillment or they see you that way, but you're going to work on your finances, the Ten of Pentacles, walking away, headed to your, just the future. And that's what we're clarifying, the Three of Wands. And the cards that come out is you deciding, okay, to take charge and, and, and have the will of fortune, okay? But I feel like you're ending the cycle and you're going to a new cycle. But I don't feel like this person is invited. But I do feel like with this Eight of Swords and this Devil, I don't feel like they like it. And I feel like they want to try to do something to, to keep you stuck or bound to them. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Aries. I feel um, devious energy from this Eight of Swords. Some of these people be, I can't have you nobody know, can type people. And y'all got to watch out. Yep, this person's worth putting in work to keep you stuck, to keep you mentally imposed, to keep you bound or, or, or you know, held back, You're stuck. Because they want a reconciliation. That's what that is. So they, they want a reconciliation and they're bringing an offer of apology or a new a offer of emotion. And they're working on, working on it. Working on keeping you stuck by bringing an offer of emotion and, and, and reconciliation here. But there, the at Three of Cups and the, the Knight of Cups is still four. And I feel like you're going to be missing the opportunity. Staying by yourself and following your intuition to this leap of faith. Okay? And that's probably why we got the intuition starting this thing off. Because your intuition is what you've been sticking to all this time. And that's... Your per this person may not understand and neither might not you, but you know that intuition is what you gotta follow. Why is the devil here? For Aries, why did you show us the devil here? <clears throat> devil number two. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Now the King of Pentacles is out here. Yeah. That's what I said. This person wants to come in that offer. With, on this connection. This deep connection that y'all have. You want to come in and <coughs> Excuse me. Apologize or bring some small ass offer. Because you are moving on. You're becoming abundant. You're seeing your, 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 your uh, garden is starting to bear fruits. And you're seeing fruition in your life and this person 
um, not so much their finances is not as good or not picking up as good and they're wanting to looks like they want to keep you stuck in the same place they are financialists no I'm sorry but it seems like that they're, they're struggling financially and they don't they see you or not you're coming in fruition with your finances and they, they don't I feel like they're, they might be a little jealous okay so they want to cause confusion and uh, cause confusion is in illusions like that they want to come back or that they sorry and that they want to be with you and justice ain't gonna let that happen because you're still selling out to call it calmer waters okay because um, you got, got clarity the truth will set you free okay so one L for person look sorry cross watcher but L for cross watcher and W for Aries that's one for Aries one cross watcher none I'm sorry cross I feel like this is you Aries been doing this back and forth for the last couple weeks so now you're gonna get mad because I'm gonna you because you won't understand I'm sorry whatever beat it buddy beat it or sis sis bro somebody beat it okay do you doing the right thing Aries your intuition came at her twice which means you're falling it and you should be I don't give a damn you might not know either but you know what that intuition that intuition knows best okay so with that being said, if this resonated with you, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Okay? And, um, yeah. So, that's what I got for you this weekend. I hope it helps you. Good luck with this. Till next time, namaste.